first word that comes to mind is his faith. Um, everybody who knows Tom knows that it's very important to him and he really tries to live his life according to his faith and I think he does a good job. Um, another word that comes to mind is commitment, whether it's to me and the kids, our whole family, um, his friends, his peers, honoring um, commitments he's done in his vocation um, with um, different things that he does throughout his job. He's very committed to that. Third would be a toss-up between Tom's awesome sense of humor. He's so funny, very witty, doesn't take himself too seriously, great sense of humor. The golf industry, whether it be the golf clubs he plays or the golf courses he designs, has benefited just from him being such a great ambassador, number one for the game of golf, but number two, just for his himself, holds himself with such integrity and such class that I think anybody who's been associated with him really appreciates the kind of man he is. Tom has also been the perfect life partner for me. We have so much in common. In many ways, we have grown up together and we've forged our tastes and our interests together and we've been through life together. The beginning of our marriage was the beginning of his golf career as a professional and then to this day, and we have so much fun beyond golf. Golf is what Tom does for a living. It's not who he is. The game of golf is played in this, this distance right here between these two ears. Um, quite frankly, there's, there's so many talented people and so many people who are, are capable of hitting a golf ball and putting it into a cup. Um, and you, when you watch men or women on the range, boys or girls, junior golfers, you know, just you look at this, you're, you're always amazed at the quality of the golf swing. And, uh, the, distance that can, that can hit the golf ball and, and, and so you wonder like well how can that person not make it you know, how can that person not make it and why is that person over there so successful and they don't really look that impressive and that person there who looks amazingly impressive you know can't really break an egg in the, in the game of golf professionally and, and you realize that it's all about belief it's all about trust in your own self trust in your swing the ability to believe in yourself when you're nervous uh, when the pressure is on and so those are the things that matter most. Um, so it, to me, the golf, the, the game is just a, a, you kind of stack one brick on top of the other, you know, and, and then finally you get to the point where the last brick is confidence and self-belief. And when you get that one on the top, then, then the game is easy. Uh, and that's been my experience is that all the years on the mini tours were just spent kind of building the wall. And then the very last step on the wall is that belief that you have to have. And once you get it, you know, then the PGA Tour became easy. Everything about golf became easy. It didn't matter if it was a World Golf Championship or a US Open or a Phoenix Open or whatever, the game became easy because you believe in yourself. You know, I kind of feel like every piece of land, you know, has its own personality and for every course looked the same, it's kind of doing a disservice to maybe what the land is offering. And so, you know, the flip side of that coin is, is that, you know, nobody really knows what a Tom Lehman golf course looks like. You know, but uh, they all say well, that one, that one, that one. Oh, really? Well, I like all those. Those are really fun to play. You know, so that would be the the, the one thing I would hope would define what we do. Is you know, is it fair? Uh, is it interesting? Is it is it is it you know, kind of kind of grab your imagination a little bit? And is it fun? And and so if you can be, I think, challenged a little bit, if you can be inspired a little bit by the beauty, and and um, and, and really have a good time doing it, I think it's a win. I think the thing that I'll be most ultimately proud of uh, at the very end are probably some of the things that I have no idea I've been involved with. Because what typically happens is, is you hear much later through the grapevine with, a, with a, uh, a little card or a note maybe years later about how, hey, I met you somewhere and you said something to me and it changed the direction of my life. You know, that's like, wow, that's a big statement. So, you know, what's, what's that going to be for me? I think I'll never know. And, and I think that's probably a good thing. I think the idea of living your life in a way that, that makes a difference means that you're probably never going to know a lot. You're never going to really understand a lot how maybe you can affect people or to, or to influence them in a way that makes a difference. The history of golf here is so deep and so long and there's so many great players and so many great people who have been around the game. And, someone like Jim Flick, who was my longtime coach, um, 
you know, Dick Holland, who's here at UC Ranch, uh, and not to mention all the great golfers, you know, but, uh, you know, the, that, those are the kinds of people who, who are part of this kind of exclusive little group that uh, make up, a, you know, the Hall of Fame here in Arizona. So I guess to be a part of that group is, is very humbling, um, very gratifying. Uh, and a very inspirational. I think anytime you get given some kind of award like that, it inspires, it inspires me to want to be better, you know, to want to do more, to want to work harder, to you know, to want to take the gifts that I have and use them even you know more than I have.